on this episode, Instagram influencer arrested after getting busted with over 200 pounds of cocaine. Also, fake gun, real fentanyl, seized in third raid of an apartment in Staten Island this year. That starts right now on Chris Talks. Let's get into it, folks. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Chris Talks. I am your host with the most, Chris Talks. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Okay, so check it out. Uh, this story is crazy. Instagram influencer arrested after getting busted with over 200 pounds of cocaine. Now, I don't know what you're doing with 200 pounds of cocaine, but I can only um, imagine. All right, yeah. Let's get into this story. Let's get it started. Let's let that AI take over. Hit it. It is reported that a pair of Instagram influencers have been arrested after getting busted with over 200 pounds of cocaine. With over $2 million. The two women have been identified as 34-year-old Raquel Marie Dolores Antiola. A singer, songwriter and rapper from Van Nuys, California who goes by the name of Rocky on Instagram. On the social media network she has over 118,000 followers. Her counterpart in the crime has been identified as 36-year-old fitness and entrepreneur Melissa Dufour. Who has over 11,000 followers on Instagram. Dufour is from Miramar. Florida is a traveling makeup artist and has a brand called Sexy Sweats, according to reports. The pair of Instagram influencers were busted with at least $2.1 million worth of cocaine packed into secret compartments of a black Ford expedition they drove through Alabama earlier this month. Officials with the Mobile County Sheriff's Office said that the two influencers initially told them conflicting stories about where they were coming from and going. However, it was later determined that they both met up in Miami. Florida and then drove together in the SUV, heading towards Houston, Texas for a house party. The women claimed that while at the party, they got very drunk, and later got back in the road to head to Atlanta, Georgia, according to court papers. The two women were pulled over on Interstate 110 near Mobile, Alabama for a traffic violation. During the stop, a K-9 alerted officers that drugs might be in their vehicle. Upon searching through the women's black SUV, Officers allegedly discovered several hidden compartments concealing 217 pounds of suspected cocaine that were packed in 84 bundles. Mm. According to an Alabama federal court filing, prosecutors claimed that the SUV had been modified to hide the drugs. They claimed that the floorboard was lowered and welded back together to make for more storage room for the bundles of cocaine to fit and be concealed. It is also reported that a second compartment was located in the back of the SUV. Where the side panels were hollowed out, they said, the vehicle's back seat was modified with a steel aftermarket compartment. The two influencers are currently facing a minimum of 10 years in prison on federal drug trafficking charges after they were arrested on June 1st by MCSO and U.S. Border Patrol officials. They both remain in Mobile Metro Jail on $1 million bonds. Meanwhile, it is also reported that the U.S. Department of Homeland Security had stepped in to take the women into custody on their federal charges. That is bugged out. Ten years, people. Ten years. Ten years. But some drugs. If you are an uh, um, Instagram influencer, now I'm not. A, I'm sorry about that static. I'm not an Instagram influencer, but I am a YouTube influencer. Okay. Now, with me doing what I do. I don't make a lot. I barely make any at all. Okay, really. So this is more like a hobby than anything. But I do what I do so I can get the news out to you guys. Okay, so, but doing this is, I, I, this is like I said, another senseless crime. This is something that Freddie Wap did. Freddie Wap does something like this. Now, if you are somebody who is in this business and um, want to succeed in this business and want to go far in this business, drugs is not the way 
to get to keep it going in this business. Okay, even if you start falling off, everybody eventually falls off. One day I won't fall off. I'm not going to start selling drugs because I fell off. This person, in my opinion, okay, because we're talking about uh, two million dollars worth of uh, drugs, two million dollars worth of cocaine. So, in my opinion, when you do something like that, when you're influencing and you do something like that, it is it's, you're falling off. Let's just be honest, you're falling off, and you're looking for. A, I guess a way to come back up. You get a couple of million dollars, you invest that, you start uh, shooting shorts and whatever, whatever. Uh, anywhere. Uh, and um, I guess um, those places. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that um, this is stupid. It's dumb. And it's senseless. It's really senseless. It's really dumb in this way. Okay. Alright. Let's pay the bills real quick. Alright, if you like this content and want to hear more of it, you can check us out on Facebook. All the links and stuff is right here on your screen. You can check us out. Also, um, this episode where we posted on our uh, YouTube, so we posted on Push Talk 1190. And also, um, we post up inspirational and motivational um, content on our Facebook and Instagram page. You can check that out. Um, yeah, you can check that out. So, um, let's get into this next story. I just wanted to get my view and my opinion on that. And, and my view, my opinion is that was dumb. And the fact that they're transporting and stuff, it's like this. Um, we all know that fentanyl is a big issue. Okay? So, what it is is that, when, like I said before, I said it in one of my previous um, episodes, that when you are doing these type of drugs, you have got to be very, very careful. Because, like... There's like so much stuff in it. Fentanyl is one of those things, but there's so much other stuff. Any drugs that can, um, it can kill you. It can really, really kill you. Fentanyl is one of them, but there are so much drugs inside of these pills. Okay, let's get into the second story, which is that, um, fake gun, real fentanyl seized in a third grade apartment. This year on Staten Island. Okay, where, where did that first story bring us to? Let's not forget uh, where these stories. It's a bar. Oh, Hollywood. All right, so the first story brought us to Hollywood. The second story brings us to New York. And um, it's going to take us to Staten Island. Do uh, you have that story? Can you pull up? Good, good, good. Thank you. All right. This second story is about some real... Uh, like I said, fake gun, real fentanyl, seized in the third race. See, that's what I'm saying. This fentanyl thing, it is becoming a serious um, epidemic or outbreak, whatever you want to call it. But it is becoming serious. It is killing too many people. Okay, so let's let's just be careful. All right, all right. Uh, hit the story. Let's let the AI take over. Hit the story. Let's hear it out. Uh, go ahead. Authorities allege that police raided a home in Saint George, where they uncovered a fake gun and real drugs, including fentanyl. Danielle Baptiste, 30, and Daryl Lewis, 36. We're inside when police armed with a search warrant swarmed their apartment on Slauson Terrace on June 7th at about 1 p.m. According to the criminal complaint and police, the apartment has been raided three times this year. According to public records, crime and safety, 
Fake gun. Real fentanyl seized in third grade this year of Staten Island Apartment, NYPD. Updated, Jun, 28, 2023, 8.42 a.m., published, Jun, 27, 2023, 9.51 a.m., by Staten Island Advanced Staff. Authorities alleged that police raided a home in St. George where they uncovered a fake gun and real drugs including fentanyl. Danielle Baptiste, 30 and Daryl Lewis, 36 were inside when police armed with a search warrant swarmed their apartment on Slauson Terrace on June 7th at about 1 p.m. According to the criminal complaint and police, the apartment has been raided three times this year. According to public records, during the most recent search by officers from Narcotics Borough Staten Island, a tray containing fentanyl powder and cocaine allegedly stored in two plastic zipper bags were found on a tray on the television stand. The suspects allegedly had about $758 in cash and empty glassine envelopes. A fake black gun found under a mattress resembled a Glock pistol. According to the criminal complaint and police, Baptiste and Lewis have been charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell. Criminal possession of a controlled substance and unlawful sale. In possession or use of an imitation pistol. According to the criminal complaint for June 7th, Lewis was arrested in a pre-dawn raid at the same location on Slauson Terrace on April 14th around 6.10 a.m. According to the criminal complaint based on an investigation by the NYPD Intelligence Bureau, the criminal complaint alleges that officers found cocaine rocks in a small zipper bag. Fentanyl in the form of a gray powder was recovered loose and also secreted in 38 glassine envelopes. A scale, empty glassine envelopes, unfilled capsules. A cell phone and an undisclosed amount of cash also were confiscated, in connection with the raid on April 14th. Lewis has been charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell. Criminal possession of a controlled substance and criminal use of drug paraphernalia. According to the criminal complaint, Lewis has been released under supervision in three pending drug cases and is due back in criminal court for all of those matters on July 25th. According to public records. Baptiste has been released on her own recognizance and is due back in criminal court on July 26. According to public records, attorney Marion Campbell, who is representing Baptiste, declined to comment at this time. Attorney Ann Katznelson, who is defending Lewis, declined to comment at this time. Officers armed with a search warrant swarmed the apartment on Slauson Terrace in February 16 at about 1.20 p.m. and arrested Lewis, according to the criminal complaint and police. Police recovered cocaine, heroin, pills containing methamphetamine and a scale that had cocaine residue. The complaint alleges. You hear that? You hear that? And I want you to, uh, I want you to really hear that and listen to it. Because these people, now, um, I want to go right into this. I'm going to dissect this real quick. Because these people are bugged the hell out. These people had, uh, of course, these are uh, melanin people in St. George of Staten Island, but these people had uh, marijuana, co cocaine, okay, fentanyl, and a, a variety of other drugs. So they could have had e-pills and all these other things and all other things like that. Now, what my question is this. And it's a question that's been going in my mind. My, my, my question is this. With this guy with this fake gun and this girl with this fake gun, who or uh, how many people have they robbed? Because they have a fake gun. So they could have used this gun to rob people, this fake gun, fake gun to rob people, to rob businesses. We don't know. We don't know. I don't know. Okay? But if you're selling drugs, the last thing you want to do is have a damn fake gun. Because if somebody is coming to rob you or, or, or stick, you know what I'm saying, take your ish, they come in with real heavy metal. They come in with real heavy metal to take what you got. Your money and everything. And they didn't, I, 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 I'm going to say this, they didn't have a lot. 
what, what was it said? They had seven hundred, uh, about seven hundred and fifty dollars, seven fifty, right? Yeah, about seven fifty eight, seven fifty eight. Yeah, about seven fifty. Yeah, about seven fifty in cash. And the fentanyl, all this other stuff, was placed in envelopes. I want y'all to listen to that. I want y'all to hear that because this is the type of the type of things and the type of the type of stuff that happens in colored communities. Because this is where this stuff is being transported to. St. George is a colored community. The majority of the people there that live there are um, of brown color. So who do you think is going out to? And I also bring this back, and I'm going to say it. Yes, I'm going to say it. I bring it back to uh, Biden and the way that he is allowing these immigrants to just run up in this country. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the fentanyl and all this stuff is coming from. It's coming from Mexico. America don't really deal with fentanyl like that. You, it, it, it has to be prescribed. But the way that it's going and all these pills and stuff, and um, I might do a show on it. I don't know. I might do a show on it. But I did look up uh, how fentanyl, the production and all this stuff with fentanyl and all, all these things like that, how, it, how it's running and how it gets to America. And a lot of it is coming through Mexico. Which Biden just is letting them run in here. And bring this type of product in here that is killing thousands. It is killing thousands. Thousands. And um that's uh that that's how I feel about that. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel about that. That's really how I feel about that. Um, I'm sorry about the static. Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry about the static. Um, what did you do? Why did you do that? Do it again. Oh, a round of applause yeah, for what I said. Okay. A round of applause for what I said. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I would like to say that because um, Biden is messing this country up and he is allowing all these drugs and all these people to just come in to America and when you keep it, when you really look at it, he is doing this for one thing, ladies and gentlemen, he is doing it for votes. Just for vote. And that's my that's my opinion on it. Alright, folks. As always, let's get into it. Alright, I wanna thank everybody for listening and tuning in. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like button, subscribe, um what notifications and comment on the show if you like this content definitely comment on it because i do read those comments i like those um what else oh okay so yeah yeah check out the facebook page and instagram and all that stuff yeah all those links are right there on your screen yeah they they up already they know what to do they know what to do all right everybody i want to thank you again again i'm gonna say it again I want to thank you for tuning in. You could be anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me. Also, stay blessed and not stressed. Until next uh, next episode, ladies and gentlemen, and all my listeners, and my new ones. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's. I definitely want a hamburger.